Hi everybody. Today we're going to be opening the Bear Conductive Touchboard Starter Kit. This was purchased at a micro center here in Chicago, Illinois for $90.15 and I've checked their website and they still have them in stock and they're still at that price on their website. Um, that's about almost $40 I want to say off of what I've found on other websites and normally you're getting in the $140 range. 150 to purchase this online normally and I'm going to open it up and show you maybe why this is a great bargain at $90 for what you're going to get. So if you don't know, um, Bear Conductive is a company, they are out of the UK I believe. Um, they make a special type of paint that is a uh, conductive paint that you can use to build fun circuits, uh, fun touch projects where you're actually touching objects that this paint is painted on and it's completing circuits or you're measuring measuring things like uh, capacitance or capacity. Um, so we're going to be opening up this starter kit which is a board that is based off of the Arduino uh, uh, that is based off the Arduino so that way you can program it yourself and it has some really interesting things inside of it so that way you can get started building some of your own touch sensitive projects. So we're going to go ahead and open the box now. All right. So immediately when you open the box, you've got this great big starter kit book. That's awesome to see. I love these big uh, starter kit projects when they have these really awesome illustrative documentations. This one's photographed really well. It shows you at the beginning of each project what you're going to be using for that particular uh, project that you're building. So that's really great. So you got the starter kit booklet. And then the main bare bones of it is the touch board. So here inside this box, we've got our touch board. Now the reason why this is already such a great deal right here at $90 is that at retail for most locations on the internet, I was finding this board alone at just $80 already. So if you're buying this board for $80, $85, for $90 if you pick up this package, you're going to get a whole lot more out of it. So I recommend buying the package if you can for $90 rather than paying almost $90 to just get just the touch board. So there we've got just the touch board. A couple of other things it's going to come with. So it's got the electric paint. That's a really big deal that's going to allow you to make some of the circuits. And here you've got an even larger amount of paint. Uh, this is the 50 milliliter. This right here, this 50 milliliter on SparkFun or a similar website, you're going to pay $25 for this. So the fact that you're getting this in the box for $5 more than just the chip alone, you're already making out. Here it looks like we've got a USB uh, device, so that way we can do USB storage of maybe some MP3 files or our own program that we can load up. And then it looks like we've got a little uh, speaker. This speaker attaches to the bare conductive uh, touch board so that way you can have audio output from the onboard mp3 device this requires no shield for mp3 playback it's got mp3 playback built into the board and then we've got a whole lot of alligator, alligator clip wires that's great we've got a micro usb cable And then we've got another USB cable here. And then we've got a brush. This brush is for use with the stencil. The kit comes with a set of stencils here in the back of the box. And the stencils make it so you can uh, build some of the circuits that are in the, the guidebook here. So you can see here we've got a bunch of different stencils. And then they're made out of this really good plastic so that way we can just paint right over it. We've also got some uh, other stickers in here, so that way we can ha help have help building our circuits. And it looks like that's in the box. That's what's in the box. 
Awesome. So the stencil, the brush here, wires, a bunch of bare conductive paint for us to use for building our project, and then the meat and potatoes of the board itself. Now the board features on board a SD card. It's a, a micro SD card. They can give you a 128 megabyte SD card. That should fit most of the files and programs you're gonna run on it. I don't see why you wouldn't. You couldn't put more if you wanted. Um, so if you wanted to put in a two gig card or a four gig card. Uh, what is ever supported by the Arduino at Omega file or chip on board should be fine. So this is an Arduino at heart project, which means that this will run in your um, Arduino IDE so you can program it. Looks like we got a reset switch here. So when you're doing your programming and if you need to do a reset of the entire chip, you just press there. Then we've got an on and off switch. Looks like for powering it up and also probably transferring uh, a program to it in the Arduino IDE, we've got that micro USB port. We've got a headphone jack here. This can plug into the uh, speaker that's been given to you in the box. It also looks like this speaker is a powered speaker and it looks like you can actually uh, charge it through one of the micro USB uh, cords that they give you. There's also a little LiPo battery attachment here. So if you want to plug in using a uh, lithium polymer battery, uh, you can so that way your project can be mobile and doesn't have to be tethered to another power source. Then you've got a bunch of conductive points here. So these are the different points where you're going to program uh, either through the program that you write in the Arduino IDE or you're going to program it um, using what's already programmed on board, which is basically a MIDI keyboard. These are going to be your different MIDI keyboard points. Um, so right out of the box, what should it, it should do is basically once you attach, uh, tap one of these segments, it's going to play a different part of a MIDI keyboard. So the way that Bear Conductive describes this is this is a MIDI keyboard in a box that is a capacitive sensor. So you can paint walls, put this on plants, bananas, whatever you want, and make it so that when you attach uh, or touch any of those objects, it's going to play that sound through the bare conductive sensor. Now you can have it trigger a note, just like a regular keyboard, or you can have it trigger an action, like moving a servo motor or anything like that. Because it is an Arduino, you can program whatever actions you want. They have a really great comparison guide that shows the difference between something like a Makey Makey and this. Obviously a Makey Makey is a lot less expensive than a almost $100 board that we have here. But if you think about for all the things that we got out of this box, I think it's actually comparable. And the other big difference that they show off in the comparison PDF is the difference that this is actually a capacitive touch sensor meaning that you don't need a second wire or a ground wire as you do with the Makey Makey. With this, you just use the onboard sensor that it already has, you touch your object that's uh, wired to this, and then you'll get an action or a trigger. With the Makey Makey, you do have to have that ground. There are ways to turn the resistive touch, the resistance touch nature of the Makey Makey into something that doesn't require the ground, but it requires you going through the Makey Makey and changing that source file. And it doesn't always work the way you think it's gonna work. Uh, with this right out of the box, it's gonna be able to work as a capacitive touch device, being able to work without a ground, and it'll work uh, without that second wire. The other thing that you're able to do with this is measure um, a, something that is dis, a close distance to your object. So let's say if you wanted to be able to measure uh, an object or a person getting close to your wall rather than actually touching the wall itself, uh, you would be able to do that with this board. Um, I will leave, leave a link to the PDF again in the notes so that way, in the comments, so that way you can go through and read the PDF to see if the touch board is right for you or if you should look at something like a Makey Makey or another type of Arduino or even a Raspberry Pi project. Um, but otherwise, I think if you're doing some kind of touch sensitive or distance sensitive project, 
using an Arduino or uh, any other kind of Arduino IDE project, I recommend this board, especially at this price that Micro Center has it for. Especially if you think about all the things that you're looking at in here. Again, these are 25 bucks each right out of the box. So you're already, you're already uh, saving some money with this. Um, so feel free to leave notes in the comments for maybe how I could do better on these video reviews. I definitely want to do more videos like this where I review these kinds of uh, DIY boards. Um, and also, feel free to ask me any questions. I will definitely be making some videos about the projects that I make with this kit. And uh, I hope to be posting those real soon. Thank you so much.